There to dream, there to believe, there to think, there to work. Only then do you achieve. Motani signing on. Opportunity only dances with those who are already on the dance floor. Opportunity only dances with those who are already on the dance floor. So are you on the dance floor? Top of the afternoon from you, from everyone, and uh, top of the afternoon from the busiest streets in the Northwest region, Commissioner Avenue, Bermenda. For the next 60 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, my goal here is to keep you going. Keep that fire burning within you so you never give up on that thing, on that goal, on that task that keeps you burning. That task that you know deep down within you, you can make it happen or you can make it better. I will attempt to do so with words, music and great, great poetry. Only on FM 98.5, Dream FM, the radio for peace and development. General supervision comes in from station boss, real hour maker power. On the MIC, call me the motivational speaker. Call me the spoken word artist. Call me Tani D. Awa, aka Motani.
Last week we talked more, more on how do you stay resilient, how do you stay focused, and how do you strive to make it in this chaotic situation in which we find ourselves here in the Northwest, here in the Southwest, here in Cameroon, and here in the world. How do you thrive through? We were trying to give you some encouragements and some little, little tips and some little, little techniques that you could try to see or to see how you could use them to keep going, to keep going. Our wise word for last week was simple, that the only way to ensure that you succeed is to never give up. That the only way to ensure your success is that you never give up. You, never, you will never know what you would have achieved if you gave up in the, if you gave up somewhere along the way. So the only way you can make sure that you never, the only way you can make sure that you succeed is to keep thriving. Keep trying though the going seems tough. Keep trying though you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Keep trying though you can't even see the rainbow. Keep trying, keep fighting, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. said, if you cannot fly, run. If you cannot run, walk. And if you cannot walk, crawl. But whatever you do, make sure you keep moving. Make sure you keep moving. No matter how discouraged you are, make sure to always, always keep moving. Today we are dwelling on the particular phrase, this particular phrase that somehow speaks deep down to the innermost part of me. And I want us to dwell more on it as we struggle to motivate each other, as we struggle to inspire each other, as we struggle to get ourselves to where we believe we are supposed to be. We may not be where we want to be, but... We want to give praise to the Creator that we are not where we used to be. We are not where we used to be. So, the only way to guarantee that we get to where we want to be is to never give up. Is to keep fighting. That's why we are dwelling on this phrase today. Opportunity. Opportunity. That sits only with those who are already on the dance floor. Opportunity. Dances only with those who are already on the dance floor. So the question remains, are you on the dance floor? Are you on the dance floor? How do we interpret this today? How do we interpret this particular phrase today? It is very, very simple. You want to be a great teacher. You want to be a great businessman. You want to be a great father, a great mother, a great parent, a great uh, entrepreneur. You want to be an importer and an exp or an exporter. You want to be a great artist, a great painter, a great musician, a great dancer a great uh, radio presenter, a great uh, TV presenter. Yes, all these things, you want to be them because you are meant to be them. You want to be them because you are meant to be them. But the question remains, remember, the question remains, what are you doing today? What are you doing today to make sure that you be where you want to be tomorrow? Because today is a macrocosm of your future. Your future begins today. 
So while you take up your head and look up the horizon to see where you want to be, then you need to put back, put your head down and work and do things today that will put you where you want to be tomorrow. That is how you make sure that the aspirations, the dreams, the, the visions you have within you are not just wishes. Because if wishes were horses, if, if wishes were horses, even beggars will ride. So the question is, what are you doing today? Qu'est-ce que tu fais aujourd'hui? What do you do on today? We, it will push you to be where you want to be tomorrow. Qu'est-ce que tu fais aujourd'hui? What do you do on today? That will take you to where you want to be tomorrow. The first step is to always know where you want to go. That is amazing. You can applaud yourself. You can clap for yourself. You can be happy that at least you've taken the first step. But that's not all. The next step is, what are you doing this particular moment? What are you doing this particular moment? Is it relevant? Is it important? Is it connected to where you want to be tomorrow? Is it connected to where you want to be tomorrow? Ponder over that question. Ponder what you're doing today. What you're doing now at this particular moment. Is it, is it in any way connected to where you want to be tomorrow? Is it connected to that dream? Is it connected to that task? Is it connected to that goal? Is it connected to that vision? Because if it is not connected to the dream, the task, the vision, or the gold, then you are barely so common to your distractions. You've barely let your distractions distract you instead of focusing and let you be the one to distract your distractions. the words of uh, our prolific and one of the most talented and gifted artists we have here in the Northwest, rappers we have here in the Northwest, Young Holiday, I will tell you it's okay to dream. It's okay to dream. It's okay to be want, it's okay to want to be somewhere in the future where you are not today. It's okay to want to be a great teacher it's okay to want to be a great parent it's okay to want to be a great businessman it's okay to want to be an amazing radio presenter it's okay to want to be a great TV presenter it's okay to want to have a lot of money yeah I know most of us want to have a lot of money it's okay to have those aspirations but the question still remains what are you doing today what are you doing today don't feel guilty that you have a lot of aspirations, you have a lot of ambitions. That is great. That is great. So many people do not. That's why they have to work for those who have. So that they together can achieve great things. But the question is, what are you doing today? What are you doing now? Are you distracting your distractions? Or are you letting your distractions distract you? Are you a bike rider today? Yes, that is not all you can be. You can be more. Are you an entrepreneur today? That is not all you can be. You can be more. 
Are you a teacher today? That is not all you can be. You can be more. Are you a doctor? That is not all you can be. You can be more. Are you a community developer, an activist? That is not all you can be. You can be more. Just ask yourself the question, am I giving it my all? Am I giving it my all? Am I doing my best? Deep down within me, am I giving it the best I know I can give? Am I giving it, am I putting in my best? The challenge is most of us do not put in our best. And we know deep down within us that we haven't done that. That is why we live unsatisfied lives. So today, if you can make that decision to ask yourself that question, am I giving it my best? Am I putting in my best? Am I giving it my all? Ask yourself that question as you serve all this amazing track from another prolific rapper, one of the best we have here in Cameroon, Mike Monster, in this particular one, Johnny. Thank you, thank you very much. That is uh, Johnny, Johnny by uh, Mike Monster, prolific, talented, gifted rapper there here in Cameroon. So he's there telling you the story about Johnny, how Johnny the hustle, Johnny the hustle day and night for struggle for see how if he make put food on the table, if he make his family happy, if he make his community better, and if he make his country that better. The question is, the question still remains, and the question we are asking today on this very particular program is between where you are today and where you want to be tomorrow is what you do today. Between where you are today and where you want to be tomorrow is what you do today. That is the bridge that connects you to where you want to be tomorrow. So, are you building that bridge? Are you building that bridge? Or you are just talking and talking and talking and you haven't learned how to walk the talk. You build that particular bridge by the things you do today. By the things you're doing right now right now right now this particular moment what are you doing what are you doing 
is it connected to what you want to be tomorrow if it is not be disciplined enough to stop be disciplined enough to stop and take a u-turn be disciplined enough to stop and go back and do what you are sure will take you to where you want to be tomorrow stop making wishes stop making wishes so long as you have those dreams and you profess them and write them down and read them day in day out and uh, every day passes without you doing anything to push you towards that dream then you are just a wishful thinker and in the end you should not blame the government you should not blame the environment you should not blame the environment you grow up with you grow up in you should not blame your parents you should not blame your teachers you should not blame your community for not being able to be where you want to be tomorrow because one thing is clear and one thing is clear where the only thing person that can stop you from being where you want to be tomorrow is you and the only way you can stop yourself is to sit today and do not do anything that will take you that is relevant to where you want to be tomorrow and most of us have been caught in that trap most of us have been caught in that trap of just writing dreams writing goals writing tasks reading them day in day out singing them day in day out telling all our friends how we want to be a great public speaker telling all our friends how we want to have a lot of money telling all our friends how we want to be the greatest artist the greatest painter the greatest dancer the greatest musician cameroon has ever seen and africa has ever seen or the world has ever seen but the question still remains every day now wait till you they do every particular day now wait till you they do it is life is very simple it is not easy but it is simple simple in the sense that if you do what those who are successful those you see are successful have done then you will definitely get to where they have been and you will go you will go higher but the question still remains are you willing to do what they have done are you willing to discipline yourself sacrifice your sleep sacrifice your pleasure sacrifice yourself just to get to where you want to be tomorrow if you are not willing then it's high time you pack your bags and sit at home and relax stop stop fooling yourself you ain't going nowhere if you ain't doing nothing you ain't going nowhere and you will be very it's very clear those who have nothing to do will always like to do it with you so if you ain't doing nothing you are not going anywhere and you will remain where you are you can talk you can curse you can do whatever you want to be do but let me tell you today categorically clear and frank if you are not doing something today that is related to where you want to be tomorrow then tomorrow no blame village people because now you be the village people will retire yourself that the particular use who wish over the you wish over this so they listen to me now you retire yourself because you really do the way it be required so stop blaming village people stop blaming your parents stop blaming the community stop blaming the government stop blaming anything outside of you if you want to make it better it's high time you take the responsibility and tell yourself that i am not where i want to be to i am not where i wanted to be in the future it is because of me it is because i'm not getting up early enough it is because i'm not carrying out the particular task to which i set myself it is because i am not doing exactly the things i was supposed to do i am not reading enough i am not focusing enough i am allowing my distractions to distract me instead of me distracting my distractions take the responsibility that is the first step accept the fact that because you are not where you want to be where you, where you wanted to be it is because you are the cause you sitting listening looking are the cause of where you don't want to be why do you have to take that responsibility that is simple it is because you cannot you cannot control anybody in this life the only person you can control is yourself you can't control anybody and you can't determine what anybody does 
But the only person you can determine what he or she does is you. So if you take that responsibility and tell yourself that I am not where I want to be, it is because of me, then you can now take the next step and tell yourself that I am going to be where I want to be because je veux commencer aujourd'hui de faire les choses que je... Hey, I will start today with do the thing the way I feel do. That is what you should do. Take the responsibility first that you are not where you wanted to be because you have not been doing what you're supposed to do. You're not doing what is required. Then take the next responsibility by telling yourself, I will start today to do what is required to get to where I want to be. I trust that you have taken that responsibility upon yourself to start doing at this particular moment what you want. Start doing the things that are required, that you're required to do to be where you want to be tomorrow. I trust that at this particular moment, that is exactly you've taken that commitment. Because on Motani's motivational talk show, we always say, do not believe what I am saying. Do not believe it. Try it. Try it. That is the only way you get to benefit from all this talking and talking and talking. It's just to try these little techniques. They might seem silly to you, but you will never know until you try. You will never know until you take that first step. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. Take that first step and try any of the techniques in which you've gotten on this show. And I bet you, ladies and gentlemen, you will be one of those who will keep bugging my phone day in and day out to say please keep doing this program do not give up please please thank you very much for what you said for this thing awakened the giant in me awakened the beast in me so i could go out there and take what is rightfully mine ladies and gentlemen Savo, jj by our own talented amazing uh, amazing artists with great vocals great style, uniqueness and uh, amazing way of singing. Let's sample JJ by Mr. Liu. One of his latest releases. So when to one days had gone by since he set out to seek journey mercies. A journey to the root was all an entire race needed to redefine itself. And he was determined to lead the race in that journey. A journey to self, a journey to the beginning of everything. Fena unia, 
Africa, Banla Wabom, yeah, Adina, Jay, 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 Wakuri, Awakuri, Jay, 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 Africa, Jay, 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 Silence fighting with the violence. The Kuria, the Yuria, Yuria, Sataka, Chuba, 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 Thank you, thank you, Mr. Liu. In that one, JJ, meaning difference, our differences. Our differences is what makes us special. Our differences is what should unite us. And our differences should be that thing. It should be that thing that makes us more attractive rather than our differences being a point of separation. Rather than our differences being a point of separation, our differences should instead bring us together. Because... I am because you are, and you are because I am. I can do everything, but I can at least do something. So the thing I cannot do, why don't you do that thing? We all don't want to do the same thing, but we all want to do something. So let our differences make us come together so that the thing that you cannot do, I can do for you. And the thing that I cannot do, you can do for me. And we can together coexist in a tolerant, enduring, and uh, a peaceful society in such a way that in the end, we all, we all in the end, benefit more. Remember, it is said that teamwork makes, makes each member achieve more. That is what Mr. Liu is trying to reiterate there so that we all can understand. He is trying to make us understand one thing is clear, because you're different from your brother, because you talk differently than the way your brother is talking, because or you walk differently from them, or because they dress differently from, from, from you, or because they think differently from the way you think, or because they talk differently from the way you talk, they reason differently from you, should not be a reason for you, from, for you to separate from them. It is instead supposed to be a reason for you to come closer to them, understand their thought patterns and see how both of you can contribute to the building of each other, to the building of your family, to the building of your community and to the building of this city, Bermuda. Thank you very much, Mr. Leo, for that amazing one. We are still on the topic today. Get ready. Get ready because opportunity dances only with those who are already at the dance floor. 
And what does that simply mean? We're talking about that. We're talking about that. If you want to be a great motivational speaker, the question is, what are you doing today to push you to where you want to be tomorrow? You can begin by just learning quotes. You can begin by learning quotes. You can also begin by talking, by talking to yourself. If you don't have anybody you can talk to, if you don't anybody you can talk to, you can talk to yourself. You can talk to yourself at the mirror. You can talk to your plant. You can talk to some, but make sure that you talk. Make sure that you practice day in, day out. Day in, day out. You can also look at what other prolific and successful motivational speakers are doing. You can look at what they are doing. Look at what they are doing. Go to those days where you will say that, oh, Basa, I don't go to school. I don't go to school. I don't feel read. Now, why do I not feel learn this thing? I don't feel learn that thing. All of that are lame excuses because you have data. You're on Facebook. You're on YouTube. You are on various social media platforms. And uh, what you have there are not just write ups that you will claim that you can't read. You have videos. You have audios. They are not just write ups. You have videos. You have audios that you can listen to and learn a skill. You have videos that you can watch and learn a particular skill. So, gone are those days where you're going to use the fact that you did not go through school as an excuse not to behave well in the society, as an excuse not to make it in the society, as an excuse not to achieve your dreams. No, 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 no. One thing is even clear, we are in a society here in the, the northwest region of Cameroon where when we look around, most of the famous and the successful business people that we have, most of them did not go through, most of them did not go through schooling, or most of them did not have, did not, do, do not have the certificates that you sitting there already have. You sitting there already have, you already have the certificate, therefore you have an added advantage. But the thing is, it is said that here in the big BDA city that we are, you have to go to school, get the certificates, keep them, go out to the street and hustle. Let my way not go to school. Let my way not go to school. Get the certificates. It's very, very important. It's very, very important. They help to build your mind. What you study in school help to build your mind. Help to open your mind. Help to make you diverse. Get those certificates. Keep them. Go out to the street and hustle. Hustle like people are doing. Hustle better than them. Hustle let my way not go to school. That's how it works. That's how it works here in this particular big BDA city that we are. That's how it works here in this particular city. So one thing is clear. Rather than you making those excuses, go out there and work. You want to be a big businessman. Start by finding out what it takes. What, is, what does it mean to run a business? What is a business? What is a business? What is a business? Look at successful business people that you admire. Talk with them. Get close to them. Offer your help. Offer to help them. Offer to help them with whatever skill you have. And by so doing, you talk with them and find out what it takes to run a business. You might have those certificates. You might have all those diplomas and all that. But you don't have an inkling of what it takes to run a business till you talk to a businessman that has been doing it for years. Just talk to them. You might not agree with everything they tell you, but I bet you, you will be glad you did if you can take out the time and talk to them. You will be glad you did. You'll be glad for the lessons you will learn. You'll be glad and you'll be able to take a bold step towards another direction or take a bold step towards the right direction. Talk to those business people. Go online. Go online. It's not all about social so, sociality. It's not about connecting with old friends on Facebook. Go online. Take online courses. Go online. Watch YouTube videos. Go online. Listen to uh, audios. Why not go download the pod, the podcast handles for, but download podcast podcast handles, and from there you can. Now listen to what people who want to start business or people who are already running businesses are doing. It is simple. 
It is simple. Information is very, very available nowadays. But we allow ourselves to be distracted by that particular information that will make that will, that will make us that, that is pleasurable. Rather than the information that will help put food on our table tomorrow. Go online. Go to YouTube. Go to Udemy. Go to Linda.com. Go to even Facebook. You still have pages on Facebook that will give you tips on how to run a business. You want to be a great musician. Why not start? By first of all, listen, listing out those great musicians in which you admire. List them down. Which are those great musicians you admire? List them down. Once you've listed their names down, the next thing you have to do is take each name, go and read their biography. Go and read their biography. It's good to know more about them. It's not about, it's not about admiring them when they are on stage, but go and read their biography. Go and read their biography. Read interviews that they are the, the main the main person on the panel. Watch those interviews. Listen to them. After you've read their, bio, their biography, the next thing you should ask yourself, what is their daily routine? What are the things that they do day in, day out? What are the things that they do day in, day out? Those, when you start looking, when you start looking at it from that point of view, then you can tap the secrets of what got them to where they are today, of what made them so admirable that you yourself can't just get over them. Find out what they do, their daily routine. Find out. What did they do up when they get up first thing for morning time? What did they do up for afternoon? What did they do up for evening? Find out. Then start doing them. It is not enough to just know what makes the difference. What is the difference between those who succeed and those who don't is the doing part then why not do those imitate the things they do day in and day out and see if you do that consistently see whether someday some other person will not sit in their homes and admire what you are producing admire the music you are doing if you do that consistently that is the only way why not also enroll for voice training for voice training it is very, very important. It is very, very important. You must give it your best. You must invest in your talent. It is not enough to just watch the singers, listen to their stories, look at their daily routines and do what they are doing. It is also enough that you get a professional as a mentor to push you, to direct you on what to do. Enroll, enroll yourself to any of these voice training uh, classes. So you can build your vocals. You can build your vocals so that you can sing well. You can sing fluently. You can be able to sing at the right pitch. The pitch that corresponds to the particular key to which instrumentals are being played. It is very, very important to get to know those things. Those are the basics that we most times neglect. We think it's all about just going to a beat maker and say, do me a beat. When they do the beat, you get into the, you get into the, the, the box, you do whatever you're doing, and you start, you start worrying the beat maker to try to synchronize your voice to the instrumental. Meanwhile, if you had taken out time to learn, to do voice training, to learn those things, it would have been less work on you and less work also on the sound engineer.
want to be a great point. You want to be a great point. Go back to the basics. Go back to the basics. List down the points or the spoken word artists to which you admire. List them down. Once you're done listing them down, it's the same procedure. Read their biographies. Read their biographies. Find out their daily routines and try to imitate. Then start writing. Start writing poems. It might seem difficult from the start, but start writing the poems and start performing and start doing them. Start reading them out to yourself. Read them out to your brothers and sisters. Read them out to your neighbors and all that. Remember, opportunity only dances with those who are the dance floor, meaning that if you want to achieve, if you want to be successful, you must have begun whatever you're doing. And sometimes you have to begin and even fail, but keep doing so that when the opportunity comes, it meets you already at the dance floor. When the opportunity comes, it meets you already ready to grab it. It's like going to a party. Going to a party and uh, while the DJ is playing music and uh, the good music, the type of music that you like is not being played and then you sit you down and you're waiting only for that particular moment where they will play that track that you love. While you're sitting down, those who are already dancing are already flexing their muscles, are already building skills. And I bet you when that music, that particular track that you love is being played by the DJ, you will not be able to compare with those who were already on that dance floor. That is how it works. You want to be a businessman, go out there, start whatever small thing you have started. Such that when that big opportunity comes, it meets you when you have already sharpened your skills and you're ready to grab it. You're ready to grab it. I've had enough with people telling me I will be able to do my business. I'll be able to do this particular type of trade. I'll be able to engage this particular type of art only when the crisis or the virus is over. Oh boy, you are deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself. There are people who are already out there doing whatever they can do. Doing that same thing that you're claiming that you'll be able to do only when the crisis or the virus is over. They are already doing it. And I bet you the skills they are developing, by the time the virus or the crisis is over, you will not be able to stand with them. Because they have developed skills, they have developed discipline, they have developed resilience, they have developed endurance that you are lacking. So go out there and begin today. Go out there and begin today. There are times where you have to jump and develop your wings while you are going down. You have to take a leap. Take a leap of faith. Our Kelly will tell you, take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. Because there are two things. You will either jump and fly or you will jump and fall down really hard. But nonetheless, even if you fall down really hard, you, will st you might develop bruises and all that. You will still get up and try again. But if you don't jump, you will never know. So go out there and start whatever thing you have been postponing in the name of crisis, in the name of the virus. So that when the music starts playing, when that track that you love, when the virus or the crisis is over, you will be able to stand, stand with your head high with those who were pushing. In fact, there are first of all so many opportunities, so many opportunities that have come because of the virus, that have come because of the crisis. You just need to change your perspective. Look differently and you will be surprised. Look around you and see how many people are making it. Don't focus on that one person that is failing and claiming that is the crisis. Don't focus on that one person that is using the crisis or the virus as an excuse not to succeed. Look around you. Keep looking and I bet you you will find at least one person that is instead triumphant one person that is instead more successful just because of the virus just because of the crisis and it is clear they might not be doing something shady it is clear that they might not be doing something illegal they are just looking beyond looking beyond the circumstances because they believe deep down within them that something within them is stronger something within them is stronger than the circumstances they are facing. 
Something within them is stronger than the circumstances they are facing. And you too need to take that same resilience. You too need to take that same attitude. Knowing that something within you is stronger than the situation you are going through right now. There is something within you that is stronger than the situation you are going through right now. That is why you have to keep going, keep moving, keep striving. That is why you don't have to give up. Circumstances do not make a man. Circumstances only help reveal a man to himself. Whatever you're doing, because whatever you're doing with, with the excuse of the crisis or the excuse of the virus is something that was within you. And even if there was no crisis, there was no virus, you would have done that same thing. The crisis and the virus has just helped to reveal that thing that is within you. So, don't use the virus as an excuse. Stop using the virus as an excuse. I don't want to hear that. I don't just want to hear that. Stop using the crisis as an excuse. Stop using the virus as an excuse. Not to, not, or as an excuse for doing the wrong thing or as an excuse not to do what you believe you can do. You are just lazy. You are just indisciplined. You are just not consistent. And the good thing is, all of those skills, resilience, consistency, discipline, those are things you can also, you can always learn. Those are things you can always learn and learn and use them to make yourself better. Let's serve all this. Naso. 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 By Tizipa Jack, featuring a couple of amazing artists we have here in the Northwest and in Cameroon. Yeah, it not gonna do you any harm if you pray for my success. Yeah. But rather, you pray make a chop bless. I know the things have hard and I know say no be only me God bless. Uh -huh. I'm sure the Lord is my witness. So see me as your brother and together we go struggle for progress. And let the devil be hopeless. Together we go stand and divide and we go fall for the road. Yes, even before we go notice, we're living in a world full of envy and hate. Yeah. Wait before that when the people start to celebrate the jubilate, the more push your budget to grip. Uh -huh. Instead to think of how them two go fit elevate the power of love is something that we honor it. Consequently, let it bad influence to dominate and so a society of hate is what we generate. Wishing bad wishes to our close mates and comrades who should be living normally. Morally, we love and harmony properly. We solve our disputes amicably and finally unite the world as one family and gradually we see our blessings coming equally. As can I be know? Showing fake love for Facebook. Nobody write for the matter. 
so forgive my brother. My mommy they the suffer. You they the block the picking. Pity the mother. Even if you don't like the picking, no one is perfect. We show true love, so we can collaborate. Me I define my way like Pantaco. Même quand tu chantes un amundo, les ennemis sont comme Kamnogo. Mais mon Dieu voit mon boulot. So, in a nutshell, what we are saying today is, whatever thing you have been postponing day in, day out, because you think you don't have the skill or you don't have what it takes to do them, the best thing to do is to start today. Anything that is worth doing is worth doing badly until you can learn how to do it correctly, until you can learn how to do it right. But, remember, if you cannot do it right, it is worth doing badly. So start today. You will fall and rise, fall and rise, and someday you will be able to do it better. But you will never know, sit in the commands of God. You will never know if you don't start today. And what we are also saying is, it's high time we stop using the crisis or the virus as an excuse for doing terrible things or as an excuse for not starting whatever venture, whatever dream we have in mind. It is time you get to get out there and start working on your dream. It is time you get out there and start working on your goal. It is time you get out there and start acquiring skills that will be able to, to enable you carry out that particular task that you love. It's time you go out there and make those things happen. We are also saying 
that you have to always keep this in mind that when the opportunity comes when the opportunity comes one thing is clear that opportunity will be grabbed by those who were already in the field when the opportunity comes who were already in the field playing playing despite the precarious situation and before you who was sitting down and waiting for a better moment a better time or a better environment to start before you will be able to get up to catch that opportunity those who are already standing and playing without any opportunity will take it and there is nothing you can do about it like if you like you curse if you like you pray and fast so long as you are not up when the opportunity comes some other person will grab it some other person will grab it some other person will grab it and what you'll be left to do is to create your own opportunity is to create your own opportunity because we know very well here on Motani on FM 98.5 Dream FM the radio for peace and development that the statement that opportunity comes but once is a lie it's a very big lie it's a fallacy you create your opportunities every day opportunities come every day you just have to be see you just have to be wise enough you just have to be patient enough you just have to be vigilant enough to see them to see them opportunities are created every day some rather than waiting for it to come why not create your own opportunity there's this amazing philosopher who said there are people who dream of things that are and I'm asking why, but he dreams of things that are not, and I'm asking why not. So why not, why are you not that great artist? Why are you not that great musician? Why are you not a great businessman? Why are you not that great singer, dancer, that great uh, presenter, great MC, great radio presenter, great spoken word artist, great, why are you not? Why are you not that? Even if nobody has ever done it in the Northwest, even if nobody has ever done it in Cameroon, even if nobody has ever done it in Africa, even if nobody has ever done it in the world, then you will be the first. Then you will be the first. Tell yourself, I will be the first. That is what we have for you today on Motani. Opportunity only dances with those who are already at the dance floor. It's been Motani on FM 98.5 Dream FM, the radio for peace and development, benefiting from the technical and experiential expertise of Talk Clinton and Station Boss Real Hour Maker Power. Ladies and gentlemen, for more information and for you to continue to be inspired and relentless and pushful towards your task or to contribute to the program, you can always check out www.motani.com www.motani.com Motani is spelled M-O-20-A twin N-I M-O-20-A twin N-I or to contribute to the program 
to contribute to this program, you can get to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, uh, Telegram, whatever social media platform. Get to me on the numbers 695-614-947. 695-614-947. Until next edition, ladies and gentlemen, bask in the flame of your own greatness. And uh, Mia, Nkakatonto, Beriwo, Beriwe, Njika, Neki, Nurati.